Peace beautiful family. My name is Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be discussing the imagination and how it's going to be able to help you to manifest the things that you truly desire to have. I want you to know that the only reality that matters is the reality that you create inside of your mind. Okay? And that also includes inner conversations for those of you who may find it a little bit difficult to visualize. I'm going to be sharing with you in this video a very specific technique by Neville, of course, one of my faves, and it's going to be able to help you to get into that end state of the wish fulfilled in the end result. Okay, so you got to stay tuned. And just so you know, I am a manifestation and mindset coach and any courses or one-on-one -on -one coaching that I offer, just check the description. The so one key thing that's gonna make this technique work that I'm gonna share with you guys, stop overcomplicating manifesting. You're always manifesting, things are always moving, there's always something that's going to remind you that you're in your 3D. However, if you live in your imagination, like Neville says, that if you keep thinking a thought and you persist in it, it must harden into fact. This is why we call our thoughts and our deep rooted beliefs, we call them assumptions. Anything that you think and you believe and you feel to be true is an assumption that you're making about your life. So here I have a little Neville nugget, like I like to call it. Imagination is thinking from the end. The end is that you already have what you want to manifest. You know what it's like to have it how it smells, how it tastes, how it sounds, how it feels, that sense of relief from finally having it, and that sense of triumph at your success. That is thinking from the end. If you're still wanting your desire, you haven't thought from the end. You haven't used your imagination to create your reality, but that's okay, that's what we're here for. That's why I'm teaching you this. You have only thought about your desire, you haven't experienced it. So you know that it's been scientifically proven that rehearsing images, rehearsing something in your mind over and over and over can actually help you to manifest it. They did this study with these basketball players and basically one group, they had them mentally rehearse doing free throws, shooting them, making them into the basket, and they had group B, where they actually physically just practice. Do you know <laughs> that the people who mentally rehearsed this were able to, without even physically doing anything, a week later, group A, the mental rehearsers, they went in and were able to make all of their free throws because they imagined themselves doing it first. I want you guys to get into the habit of whenever you are manifesting things, to start creating inner conversations, things that are going to help you to keep you on the right path to living in the end result. So how do we go about living in the end result? Well, number one, you have to think from your desire, not of your desire. Let me explain to you. If you are manifesting a specific person, let's just say that, and you are thinking about the person like, oh, why is he not calling me? I wonder, will he call me? Will we be together? How come things are not working out the way I want it to? You're thinking from the standpoint of not having it. But if you were to think from the end result as if you already have it, it would be, let's plan our vacation two months from now. So you would be thinking about where you guys are going to be going, what you're going to be doing. You'd be planning your wedding. You'd be planning um, what you guys are going to be naming your children if you're getting married. When you are looking to manifest things, you need to stop wavering. Wishy-washy here, wishy-washy there. Maybe I want to do this. Maybe I don't. Maybe he'll call me. Maybe he won't. Oh, I want to meditate, but then what if it doesn't work? When you're manifesting, the only thing that matters is you standing firm in your assumptions. Things are working out in your favor always. Start, start affirming that. Things are working out in my favor always. You have to stop wavering in your belief. Your wonderful human imagination is going to help you. Your imagination is creating your 
reality all day every day so that's why i'm saying when you use the whisper technique you'll be able to feel as if the person who you're whispering to is understanding you're imagining them receiving the um the message this is the exercise or the technique what you're gonna do is in a relaxed state right before you go to bed as you're drifting off into sleep but not asleep yet imagine yourself in first person whispering into the ear of the person that you want to say something to you so this is perfect for you guys who are manifesting specific people i'm going to show you how this exercise go specific person example tell danielle that you love her and that you only truly want to be with her she is the love of your life let's say you're manifesting money so you choose your best friend to whisper tell danielle that you are so excited that she just got her new job working for her dream employer this works because it impresses your subconscious mind through images and inner conversations to believe that you have received it already. This puts you in the end state. This is the key to living in the wish fulfilled. Throughout the day, after you've done the technique, go throughout your day feeling relieved, feeling as if, you know what? I don't have to do anything else. I've done everything I need to do. My desire is mine. I want you guys to also understand that when you are doing your techniques, your exercises, you have to make sure that you're in a relaxed state. I don't want you guys to get into this desperate, needy, why don't I have it, why not? Why is it not here? All these things are to help you to, to relax, to focus, to recenter yourself. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you very much. Thank you to all the new subscribers. It's so many of you guys <laughs> that are new. I want you to know on this channel, we're gonna talk about law of assumption. We talk about quantum physics, how to manifest the effortless way, how to get your things to come to your life the quickest way with the, with the least amount of resistance. And while I'm doing that, I'm also teaching you guys the science behind it and how to be able to know without a shadow of a doubt that you are a master manifester. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. I will talk to you in the next video. Peace. I like lace and I like